click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of Machine Design 1. We are right now learning about the design procedure and the numerical about the flange coupling or which is also called rigid coupling. So let us quickly look at the problem statement. So friends, as you can see on the screen, it says that design a safe rigid coupling to transmit 25 kN at 940 rpm. So this is what the only data given. So in this we can trace out that we have to find out rigid coupling. Now students many things are hidden in the one statement only. It says that we have to design rigid coupling or flange coupling that means we have to design shaft, we have to design key, the bolts and most important flange or hub. Undoubtedly, we have to select a standard material also. The next thing we have been given is power that's 25 kN and power RPM 940. So students, you need to understand that no reversibility or irreversibility condition is given. That's why whatever power we have given, we will select the same thing. We will not increase with certain concern value and hence we'll proceed the next very thing that we do is the material selection we can go through phd data book 1.9 1.10 and so on and we can select the standard materials let the materials and their values be now this we are doing for specifically shaft key bolts let the material be C30, which is a preferred material for all such kind of selections. You can refer to that and you will find out the value of VL stress 300 Newton per millimeter square. Factor of safety that is generally considered for ductile materials with this kind of selection is 4. And therefore, we can figure out the safe values. Now this value can be same in case of compression also but if the conditions are given we may have to consider the larger value in compression and therefore the safe value for tau comes out to be with these two values we are going to design the selected parts let's find out the value of compression also with the standard range somewhere around 1.4 times the standard value of tension if we substitute the value of tension, we will get it somewhere around 105 Newton per millimeter square. So this was what the material selection is all about. The next very important thing is torque transmitted. We know the standard formula gain with us and therefore torque transmitted MT can be given by power in of course kilowatt to 60, 10 to 6 divided by 2 pi n. As we substitute the values of the given parameters, makes it 25 into 60 into 10 raised to 6 divided by 2 pi into 940 rpm. And therefore, the value of torque that is to be transmitted comes out to be, of course, in Newton millimeter, somewhere around this particular value. You can take the next uh, round of value also. The next very important thing is the shaft diameter that we need to find out. Now we know that failure of shaft comes under the shear and therefore we have to use the shear formula where D is the diameter of the shaft. We already have found out the value of torque to be transmitted. The safe value of tau we have figured out that is 37.5 into the unknown parameter. As we saw it, we get the answer somewhere around 35 millimeter shaft diameter. Since we have considered the given value as the allowable value, this is already a safe value of the shaft diameter. That is what I call 
standard selection of the shaft either by selecting the diameter and then prove that it is safe or either considering the allowable value of tau and find out the safe value both way it is going to be same the next immediate thing is nothing but the selection of key therefore from phd data book for diameter 35 millimeter we know that this is how a shaft is designated let us select a standard value of shaft that is somewhere around of course that is designated with b into h into l we know that b is given as 12 h given is 8 versus length now length can be same as that of the length of the shaft or it can be smaller than that we can figure out the length parameter afterwards now we know that a key will fail under the shear as well as in compression so let's consider shear first we know that the torque transmitted is given by its length into breadth into the allowable value of shear into the diameter of shaft divided by 2. So, diameter of shaft we have been given is D divided by 2. We know the rest of the parameters. Let's substitute the values. Length which is an unknown. The base we have been given is 12. The allowable value of tau is nothing but 37.5. So as we solve this particular thing, we get the parameter L is equal to somewhere around millimeter. Let's consider another aspect that is crushing. We know that for crushing, the torque transmitted is given by where all other parameters are given to us and therefore The sigma c value of course is going to be the allowable value and therefore length comes out to be somewhere around 34.55 millimeter. The students if we compare this and we know that length is directly proportional with the torque transmission capability where it is directly proportional so if we increase the length the capacity will also increase but if we decrease the length it will also decrease so let us go for larger value of length and therefore the length which is expected for the key l comes out to be 34.55 millimeter of course it's not a standard or preferred value let us make it 35 millimeter and the final selection of key can be said to be 12 by 8 by 35 millimeter is the standard part of the coupling so that was from my side in the first section of this numerical where we have found out the shaft diameter based on which we have selected the key also in the next subsequent part we are going to select a standard rigid coupling and based on which we will prove that the bolt selected are safe or not thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video, please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.